In this video, I'm going to be proving to you why high-res files are completely pointless and why 24-bit files are almost always completely pointless. As you can see here, we have a 24-bit 96kHz sample rate file as evidenced by the 48kHz extension on the spectrogram. A spectrogram is essentially just the visualization of a sound file. The reason the audio extends to 48kHz is because of the Nyquist theorem. The Nyquist theorem specifies that for a given file sample rate, the highest frequency the file is capable of reproducing is half of the sample rate which in this case is 48 kilohertz. The colors represent dBFS values with 0 dBFS being light yellow or white representing the loudest possible sound in the file, and black or minus 140 dB representing the quietest possible detectable sound in the file. Now, if I resample the file to 48 kilohertz using Audacity, we can see that we have extension to above 23 kilohertz. Technically, a 48 kilohertz sample rate file can reproduce information up to 24 kilohertz, but for some reason with Audacity's resampling, sounds are only reproduced up to about 23 kilohertz. But this does not necessarily matter since humans can generally only hear up to about 20 kilohertz, and most people can only hear below that, and a few can hear slightly above that, but there's no way anyone can hear up to 23 kilohertz. Now, after I lined up the 96 kilohertz sample rate file and the 48 kilohertz resampled file and inverted the polarity of the 96 kilohertz sample rate file to perform a null comparison, we can see that below 23 kilohertz, there is zero audible difference. All sounds below 23 kilohertz are nulling to minus 140 dB or below, meaning that there is zero audible difference here. Interestingly though, when resampling the 96 kHz sample rate file to 44.1 kHz, the 44.1 kHz sample rate file only extended to about 21 kHz, and technically there were artifacts in the audible domain. For example, between 2 minutes 40 seconds and 3 minutes, there are blue streaks showing up below 20 kHz, which indicates that there are differences at around minus 120 dB, and while these still might not technically be audible, they still are occurring in the audible domain, so it probably is safest to stick to a 48 kilohertz sample rate. Now that we hopefully agree that there is no audible benefit for sample rates higher than 48 kilohertz, let us move on to bit depth. In my previous two videos, I demonstrated that I could hear a difference between 24-bit and 16-bit files, but this was because of the dither used. Even Audacity's wiki says that shape dither is the least audible and that is why it is the default for their high quality conversion setting, but it also states that shape dither has a higher peak amplitude than other forms of dither, but the noise is concentrated in the very high frequency range where it is less audible. The problem is that when converting 24-bit files to 16-bit without dither, there aren't actually any audible problems, so there is no reason to use dither. Using shape dither just adds audible problems that were not there in the first place. And this is how I was successfully able to pass 24-bit versus 16-bit ABX tests. Without dither, however, the difference is completely inaudible. There's no way anyone can actually pass a test between these two files. There are a few edge cases to the 24-bit versus 16-bit thing because technically, a difference can come up if there really is a difference in dynamic range between the files. The problem is that most 24-bit files are actually just 16-bit files in a 24-bit container. For example, someone showed me the song by Dikem Bay that has some differences below minus 125 dB between the 16-bit and 24-bit files. I tried ABXing these two files yesterday and was not able to pass, but this is just to show that technically there can be a difference above minus 140 dB between a 24-bit and 16-bit file. And that's the end of this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you found it helpful. I'd like to give a shout out to Yuli, Felix, Malbill, Christopher Yu, The Awful Reaper, Tripped, Munalos, Gabby D, Fofo, Noodle, Connor Tun, Zeros Kun, Jonas, Ninja Coma 3, Dimas Bringas, Castle of 4141, Vsauce 4, Wade Acre Snivery, Tripped Once Again, and Base Gamer. Thank you guys a lot for supporting the channel. Be sure to join the Apple House on Discord server if you haven't. That's it from me. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.